Welcome to this quick tip tutorial from SoundTower. This time we're looking at the Phantom Banks feature found in the following SoundTower editor librarians. Prophet 5, Prophet 6, OB6, Rev2, Trigon6, Take 5, and Voyager. The Phantom Banks feature allows you to have unlimited banks of sounds to recall at any time. Additionally, all factory banks are available for easy auditioning. We are demonstrating this feature using the editor librarian for the Oberheim OB6, but this feature works the same in all previously mentioned software versions. Obviously, the names and numbering conventions will be different. To open the Phantom Banks, just click Banks, then the Phantom button. The Phantom Banks window opens and you will see a starting bank available. You'll also see a button that will show and call up the factory banks. Calling up a factory bank will show a list of factory programs. Clicking on the send button will send the program to the synth so that you can audition the sound. Be aware that this program has been sent to the buffer and has not been saved to the synth. You will have to manually save the program. However, if you type Command W, a dialog will appear allowing to select what bank and program slot you want to write it to in any of the internal, user, or factory slots, or even back to a phantom bank slot. Please be cautious to not overwrite important programs when using this feature. Clicking Phantom Banks will open the list of available banks. Starting with the initial program bank, let's first change the name. Double click on the name and type in the name that you want to use. Now you can start copying and pasting individual programs from the banks window. Just right click on the source program, right click and select copy. Then go to the slot in the phantom bank you want to place it in, right click and select paste. Also, you can copy and paste multiple programs at one time from the librarian page. First, click the program slot in the phantom bank where you want the new programs to start. Then, go to the librarian page. Select contiguous programs by clicking a starting program, hold the shift key, and click your ending program. Or to select non-contiguous programs, hold the command key and select. Once selected, click and drag the programs over to the phantom bank and drop them on the highlighted slot. As a side note, you can always copy factory programs over to your custom bank in the same way. Just open the factory banks view, select a bank, copy a program, come back to your phantom banks and paste it in. You can change the name of any of the programs by double clicking and entering a new name. You can also change the category by clicking on the name and selecting an alternative from the list. You can create additional Phantom Bank collections by selecting New Collection in the File menu. You will be asked if you want to save the current collection before a new one is created. From the File menu, you can save and load collections. By saving, you will save the current state of the collection of phantom banks. All current banks will be saved in a single file for recall. Under the file menu is the option to load from a file a previously saved bank that is in the SYX format. From this menu, you can also load user or factory banks into your collection. You can also export factory or user banks in the SYX format to store or share with other users. You can also load programs from the top genetics feature in the editor that we'll look at in another video. Under the edit menu, you can copy and paste a program or use the shortcut keys, add the current program that's currently called up on the synth. You can initialize the program in the list that is highlighted. As described earlier, 
you can write a current highlighted program to the synth. You can remove a bank or you can create an initialized bank that will become part of the current collection. Use in conjunction with the other banks and librarian features of this Sound Tower Editor Librarian, you can save any number of patches organized in the way you want and for immediate recall using the Phantom Banks feature. Keep your eye open for additional tutorial videos. See you soon.